Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a sleep physician. And if you have insomnia, this channel is for you. Today, we're going to talk about some problems Mike is having, particularly frustration with not falling asleep while being faithful to bedtime restriction therapy. First of all, Mike, thank you for sharing this. I really believe it can be helpful to other people that I'm sure have similar types of problems. And before we go any further here, uh, two things. One, uh, as always, what I say here is general advice, not specific recommendations to you, Mike, or anybody else. But you might find something here that is helpful and that you yourself or together with a doctor or another healthcare provider may decide to try. Uh, now, second thing, um, I've had some emails going back and forth with Mike and, um, and there are some questions I want to answer here uh, in, in another video, but today I just want to focus on uh, kind of the latest uh, problem I, uh, Mike is uh, facing and just uh, to give you um, uh, a little bit of uh, background here, Mike is going through, uh, he's undergoing sleep restriction therapy or bedtime restriction therapy and his window is from 11.45 p.m. to, I believe it was, let me check here, uh, 5.30 a.m. So again, he's not supposed to go to bed before 11.45 p.m. and be strict about getting up at 5.30 a.m. Now, let's read a little bit together here. I was dead tired for most of Friday and I started reading as my doctor told me at 10.30 p.m. But at some point, I just got tired of reading and I just tried to listening to YouTube video music, not watching but listening. About an hour leading up to 11.45 p.m., I kept looking at the clock and had major trouble trying to stay awake. When 11.45 arrives, I jump in my bed and cannot fall asleep. Friday night should have been a night where I should have slept for several hours, maybe even until 5.30 a.m. And then um, in a, the most recent email that I just got about an hour ago, uh, one more thing, when you make the video, and I, I told them that I was planning to answer with the video, can you talk about whether it is a uh, bad thing to really, really force yourself to stay awake until a certain time? I know you're a big proponent of CBTI and the sleep restriction component, but I've encountered that barely able to stay awake, but once my sleep time begins, I'm wide awake a few times. Uh, so um, here are my thoughts. I, I totally... Uh, I totally hear you. I, I've heard similar things described from patients many times, meaning somebody who feels really tired, you know, kind of nodding off, uh, uh, at, you know, sitting in the couch or, or reading or whatnot, you know, at, at 8 or 9 or 10 p.m. But as soon as they go to bed, they feel wide awake, very alert, and are just unable to fall asleep. And, uh, there, there can be, I'd say, two like main reasons for this happening. One is um, this unhealthy association of the bed with insomnia that we, we talked about before. Uh, typically, if you have no problem sleeping, um, you're a healthy sleeper, you, you have a neutral or positive kind of association with the bed where you, you, you think of it as a, uh, either you've never thought of the bed as a particular space or you think of it as a kind of safe uh, place where you, uh, where you enjoy spending time and sleeping. Now, with insomnia, that can change, you know, uh, after days or weeks or months of, of not being able to sleep. You may start associating the bed with tossing and turning, restlessness, anxiety, frustration. And then, uh, although you are tired, as soon as you hit the, uh, the, your head hits the pillow, that association kicks in. And you start feeling like really uh, alert. That's one component. But what I think may be even more uh, of what's going on as I, as I read this email like is um, sometimes, you know, expectations can be your worst enemy. And that, that goes for, um, you know, supplements or, you know, relaxation techniques or uh, or, or, or bedtime restriction therapy even. Meaning, what am I trying to say here? Well, I'm trying to say that sometimes if you expect something to help you sleep, that expectation can kind of sabotage the effort. And I 
totally understand how this can be so frustrating when you're you, know, you spent extended time awake you know you're really doing exactly what you're told to do when it comes to you know bedtime restriction or sleep restriction therapy meaning stay awake for an extended time period and then you still are unable to fall asleep now um how you know what's the best way to to deal with this problem well this is again i said this before this is probably the hardest part of cognitive behavioral therapy which is really sticking to you know recommendations and working on sleeping better but at the same time kind of not wanting to sleep or not wanting to sleep so bad uh, paradoxical intention which is a um, cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia technique uh, it really hones in on this so using paradoxical intention you go to bed actively trying to stay awake and paradoxically that can help meaning you you know different ways of doing that but a common recommendation is you go to bed and you just tell yourself try to stay awake try to stay awake, try to stay awake that can help but the kind of more overall message is if someone somehow is able to not expect to sleep and not not really uh, focus too much on trying to sleep that can help you know I, I really understand how this 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 is difficult to re reconcile but I think that is um, one really good hopefully helpful thought here and the other one is um, and I talked to um, Tuan about this uh, just uh, the other day um, sometimes uh, and this is also about expectations that if you um, have a setback um, early on or, or at any point really that 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 of course can happen that that has happened in your case Mike but perhaps um, if you expect results more in the long term and I'm talking about like one two three four weeks like that if you, if you say I don't know how this is going to help tonight or tomorrow night but hopefully you know if I stick to what I'm doing I will see results in like in the week week time frame you know one two three four weeks that may be a better way to approach um, you know the issues that uh, you know people like yourself are facing so just some thoughts here I really just want to make a quick response here I will be back uh, as soon as I have time to go over the first email from Mike where he had some uh, really good questions and um, and more so uh, for now uh, thank you for watching uh, and um, I'll be back here very soon. If you have any questions, problems, concerns, thoughts, post a comment here or email me at insomniainsight at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.